The Google Ads Advertiser Verification is something new that Google has been rolling out recently in the Ads platform. And you may have gotten a notification saying that you need to complete this in order to keep your ads running. So they'll actually suspend your ads after 30 days if you don't get this verification complete. That is if they're requiring you to complete it. They seem to be rolling it out slowly, so sometimes you'll be able to run ads without doing the advertiser verification, especially if you've been running ads for quite some time. And then one day you might get an email saying, oh, you need to complete this advertiser verification. And it's designed to help build trust, limit fraud, and do a couple of other things. And basically what it does is if we come over here to a Google search and we look at the advertisers here, you can see how this one has a logo and then there's these three little dots next to this. So if we click on this, we can actually see what company is running ads on the Google Ads platform. We can even click this see more ads option here and we can see all of the ads that this advertiser is running on the Google Ads platform. And this is something that Facebook has been doing for a long time. Google seems to be following in their footsteps with this. And so by getting your advertiser verification done, it's gonna allow you to do a couple of things. In part, it's gonna allow you to add a logo right here. So you can see this company hasn't done the verification or at least they haven't added a logo. And so they just have this standard icon which is going to be there by default. But this looks a little bit more professional where you can see the icon for this company right here. And so that's actually done in the assets. So if we come over to campaigns and then go to assets, you'll see there's this business logo, but we're not able to add that. It's saying that we need to first complete the advertiser verification in order to add our logo. And same thing with the business name. So these are sort of brand related assets which used to be called extensions, and they just help give a little bit more authority to your listing on the Google Ads you know, sponsored results page here, or the sponsored results here on the page. So to complete the advertiser verification, it tends to be pretty straightforward. I recommend that you get started on it right away because they'll only give you 30 days to complete it if you've gotten an email saying that you have to complete it they're gonna give you 30 days to get it done or they're going to pause all of your ads and you're not gonna be able to advertise on the platform anymore. So to get here, you just go into billing and then you're gonna see a bunch of different tabs here. If you click on advertiser verification, then you're gonna see a page that looks like this. And then you can click start advertiser verification or start verification. And then it's gonna have two options here. Whether you're an agency or an individual, you'll just select which one best suits your specific use case. So if you are an agency, you click on this. It's going to ask, who do you want to verify today? A client or my agency? I'm assuming in most cases it's going to be you as an individual uh, verifying your account, or your account. So you would just click no. Then it's going to give you an option. Do you pay for your ads directly or do you pay an agency to invoice you and run the ads for on your behalf so just select the appropriate like if you have your credit card in your account and it's being billed for your ad spend then you would just click yes right here saying that yes you pay directly to google ads if you have an agency running your ads and you're paying them for the ad spend then you would click no right here so i'm just going to click yes so that's going to be the first part of the verification process you can see this is complete here. Now it's wanting us to verify our identity. And by clicking get started, we can see that it's going to ask for something to identify the advertiser who's running ads in this account. So it's typically going to be like a driver's license, a passport, state ID, green card, something of that effect. And so all we do is click start verification. And then we would fill out this information with our legal name. We can select what type of uh, ID we want to add. And then we're actually going to need to upload the front and back of the ID. Click Next. It's going to ask us for the address. And then we'll be able to complete the advertiser verification process 
Now, sometimes it might ask you some, for some additional verification. In this case, it's just asking for my legal name here, my driver's license, so I want to upload that information, complete the process. Once it's completed, it can take a couple of days for, uh, sometimes it happens right away. Sometimes it takes a couple days for them to review this information and then verify you as a verified advertiser on the platform. But once you've completed this, then you'll be able to continue running ads and use these new assets here in order to improve the appearance of your ad on the Google Ads platform. So it's pretty straightforward. Just make sure to get it done right away if they're asking you to do it. So that way you can continue to run your ads on the platform. I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.